welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. Kinda got a full plate today. Hang on for the ride. You approach Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Atom? To be split in his infinite glory? Or do you seek to tear down his followers? I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I just need some information from him. He has sought refuge with Atom. I would know more before I tell you where he is. What do you want with him? I need his help reaching the Institute. I have heard of this Institute. They hide themselves, trying to avoid the power of Atom. A futile effort, in truth. This Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Atom. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. Protect and serve. I suggest you refrain from inhaling the tainted air here. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg, huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. I'm just here to talk. That's so. Then talk. Fast. I need your help. My help? With what? How did you even find me anyway? I'm just a guy looking for information on the Institute. The Institute? So, they did send you, didn't they? You're working with Kellogg. Relax, big guy. Kellogg won't be coming after you. He's dead. Dead? He's... dead. Don't you lie to me! I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No, it doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? Relax. I just need to know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? Would you believe the Institute kidnapped my son? Oh, yeah. I'd... I'd believe that. Wouldn't be the first time. Look, I'm... Sorry. Really sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, the Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. You help me and I'll help you. All right, if I help you, you're going to do something for me. 
Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. All right, let's talk details. First things first, you know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well, not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? No, never heard of them. Another secret of the Institute. Trust me, it's good that you haven't found out the hard way. Coursers are Institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You are going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT directly above the Institute, so you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to... Not get killed, not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need some... What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. But we got out. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, 
She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. Of course. How does 350 caps sound? If she went far, that means travel expenses. We could make it 400. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be... overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Like, shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. Project log? Lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Project log? Radio. Correction? Working. Radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. 
people are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I hope I don't have it again tonight. Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but God, where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synth, synthetic people, made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood... I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I, I'm going to go to meet these synths. I, I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure? She's human, Mrs. Nakano. Yes, I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, Detective? I think Kasumi took off somewhere up north. Do you know what's up there? Where specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the waters start to freeze, but that's a lot of miles. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home. Hold up, Knight. Let me make one thing clear. As a member of the Brotherhood, you serve under my command. If you want my respect, you will have to earn it. When I give you a mission, I expect results. Is that clear? Perfectly. Good. Paladin Dance has already briefed me on your search for the missing recon team. I want that resolved. Do you have anything to report? I've completed my investigation into the missing recon team. Paladin Brandis was the only survivor. Brandis? What happened to him? I'm worried about him. He's paranoid, unstable. I'm not surprised. All that time alone must have taken a toll on him. Can he come back to the Brotherhood? Perhaps. We would have to place him under medical observation. It might be months or years before he's cleared for duty again. If he ever is. 
But his survival experience and knowledge of the Commonwealth would still be a tremendous asset to us. He's a lost cause. He's turned his back on the Brotherhood. A broken paladin is of no use to us. Better that he be forgotten. That's all. I'll prepare a full report for the Elder. In the meantime, allow me to offer you a new suit of armor. Bear it with distinction. This was no easy mission, Knight. Well done. Now, I have a more pressing matter that requires your attention. I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. I suspect this may be an inside job. If so, that's a serious security risk. That's what worries me. If there is a traitor, our entire operation here could be in jeopardy. I want you to take charge of this investigation. Report to Knight Sergeant Gavel at the base. He commands our logistics division. He can familiarize you with his unit and the depot. Beyond that, you have leave to conduct your investigation as you see fit. Report your findings directly to me. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I expect results. See that I get them. Dismissed. I have a situation I need to report. Proceed. There are rumors about some kind of safe haven for rogue synths up north. It's not enough that we have to root them out here. Now we need to worry about them surfacing elsewhere? We need confirmation, not rumors or hearsay. Can I trust that you'll follow up on this and report your findings directly to me? How do you suggest I proceed? Investigate these rumors. Travel north if necessary. Bring me something actionable. And I assure you, the Brotherhood will deal with it. Trying to minimize reactor jitter. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. God damn it. Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, goddammit! You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch! Don't hurt him, man! Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son. Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time. And her husband, Paul, doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? Sure. Get the lady another of whatever she's having. That's more like it. I hope you stick around. I think we might become good friends. Free booze. The fastest way to your heart. Anyway, I got a bar to run. Ordering? I don't need anything. Well, we're always open. God, even the sky ain't safe. Did you see that blimp thing? The Brotherhood I... of Steel? Hey, Who are they? you there. I, um, I have a question for you. What do you want? You were in the tap house before, when... You got beaten up by the bartender. Yeah. Good old Henry Cook. Everybody's best pal. Especially Darcy's. I'm supposed to pretend I don't know he's sleeping with her until he decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. So where do I come in? I'm going to go back and talk to him and I want you to come with me. You saw? You won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him. I just want him to leave Darcy alone. You're going to have to make it worth my while. Uh, well, okay. I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. 
This will work better if I talk to Cook by myself. You're probably right. I am so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. Don't worry. I'll make him suffer. Good. I hope you don't have to kill him, but you can make it as painful as you want. He deserves whatever he gets. Evan, don't be late. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. You're Henry Cook, right? That's right. This is my place. Why? Is there some kind of problem? Are you sleeping with Paul Pembroke's wife? I really don't see what business it is of yours who I'm sleeping with. I told Paul I'd get you to leave Darcy alone. Nothing personal, just business. Nobody tells me what to do in my own place. You'd better turn around and walk out of here while you still can. I'm counting to three. One, two. Hold up. Don't get crazy on me. We can talk this out. This whole thing with Darcy and me. Bad idea. I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look, tell Paul it's over. I swear. I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? That's a good start. Something more concrete would help. Yeah, okay. I get it. I have an idea. Something I've been thinking about for a while already. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? What's the idea? Here's the deal. I have some other, um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. Who's Nelson Latimer? Malcolm's kid. An arrogant little pissant. But useful, since he has all the money in the world and likes to think of himself as a budding crime boss. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentleman from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. I'm in. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. What is it? Cook has a plan to make us both rich. Ambush a chem deal set up by him and Nelson Latimer. Interested? If you think it's a good idea, I'm in. Cook owes me. Big time. Note says the meat is near the back street of Parole Building. You know where that is? Oh, yeah. Down along the river. Come on. Let's do this. to kill me. I won't talk. I swear. Nothing personal, but I can't leave any witnesses. Wait! I can tell you how to find Morowski's cam lab! You can get his whole stash! Go on. Where do you think these cams come from? We've got a lab. Right here in the Commonwealth. But you'll never find it on your own. Not without my help. Tell me what you know first. Well, okay. I'm trusting you, right? The lab is in the old four-leaf fish packing plant on the waterfront in South Boston. 
Let's hear about all the security. The place is overrun with feral ghouls, which don't even look twice at my crew, because they're all ghouls like me. My idea, by the way. I assume there's more to it than getting past the ferals. You assume, right? The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. You seem awfully proud of this lab. Yeah, I am. Moraski's operation wouldn't be nothing without me. There's a terminal that will bypass the tripwires and open the door to the lab. And I have the password. So, I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you'll let me walk? I'll definitely kill you if you don't tell me. You bastard. Mm, I guess I gotta trust you. The password is Applejack. There, now you've got it. Hey. So that's that. I told you it was no problem. The money should still be on Nelson's body. And then there's these chems, which you'll need to sell somehow. But that's your problem now. I'm leaving town for good. Shit. Should make things easier for Paul to have me gone. Plus, there's no plausible way I could explain to Morowski how I wasn't involved in this unless I die here along with everyone else. Just like that? You're leaving town and never coming back? Scared, yeah. Huh? You won't be able to blame me for all your problems anymore. You're leaving already? But we were having so much fun together. I think I'm getting too old for your kind of fun. Oh shit, look out! Lost them. How'd you get in? Oh. Don't look. Well, that'll do it for today. I'll see you mercenary fucks in the next one.